If you've owned a cat, even for a short amount of time, you know that one of the most uncomfortable sights and uncomfortable sounds is that of your pet vomiting, barfing, throwing up. And while this act should never be frequent, and it certainly shouldn't be multiple times per day, it's fair to say that cats do vomit often, at least in comparison to healthy people. But why? What's the cause? Are there multiple causes? In this material as family-friendly as possible, I'll talk about why cats barf so often and what you can potentially do to keep your pet safe and healthy and to keep that sound and visual at a minimum. Interesting topic, and I've got you covered. Stay tuned. Right from the jump, in an effort to keep things family friendly, this video at no time will feature a cat in the act, let's call it, so fear not, all is well on that front. I don't think a visual needs to be present for you to certainly know what I'm talking about, especially when it comes to a topic of this nature. And with that said, as for the causes, let's start in no particular order with fur balls. Fur balls are as common as the sunrise, unfortunately. It's just the nature of the beast. This is why, as an owner, it's always important to assist your cat with the grooming process. Because while cats do a fine job on their own, removing loose fur with that tongue, well, it can have some potential side effects, and vomiting is one. In short, fur that isn't able to be properly digested will come back up. Your cat will hack and hack and hack until the fur is eliminated. That, as odd as it sounds, is the best case scenario. Fur balls can be quite serious. Intestinal blockages, choking hazards, both on the way down and the way back up. This can be a messy situation, both literally and figuratively, and at times a very scary situation. My advice, spend a few times per week grooming your cat. Combs, brushes, fur removal gloves. The market is filled with products designed to remove loose fur and make your job so much easier. Please test the market and purchase the products that will give you the best chance, the very best chance to be successful. I'm not sure of a true ranking, but it's fair to give an educated guess and say that fur balls, trapped fur, loose fur, could very well be the leading cause of vomiting. It wouldn't surprise me one bit. Another reason why cats barf a lot involves eating too much. Some felines really know how to put on the feed bag, and if your cat has buffet-style meals where a food bowl can be accessed 24 hours per day, vomiting could be the unfortunate byproduct of your pet's inability to step away. Make no mistake, just like people, cats can eat for recreation. It's just something to do. Cats can get down with the comfort food just like a person. Serve your cat individual meals, just enough food for the meal itself. And speaking of eating too much, what about eating too fast? Some cats love to eat and run, quite literally in some cases. I know one of my cats has a bad habit of eating fast and then taking a lap or ten around the living room. And on occasion, those actions are met with some unpleasant results every once in a while. If your cat has a habit of fast consumption, give your pet each meal in stages. A little bit here, take a break, a little bit there, another break. This way, even if your cat eats fast, there's not too much in the bowl to begin with. And if possible, after the meal is complete, pet your cat. Perhaps attempt to engage in a cuddle session. The very last thing you want is for your cat to start playtime on a full stomach. And staying on the topic of food, your cat's diet could potentially be the reason for post-meal vomiting. Make sure your cat has a steady diet of wet food. Meals that are designed for your cat's needs, especially if your cat has specific needs, and conditional conditions that have been diagnosed by a vet. Some felines require special food, and meals that are harsh on the stomach and or a general improper diet could unfortunately promote vomiting. And oh yeah, those snack treats go easy on them and never make them a meal substitute. An unhealthy and unsettled gut courtesy of diet could be the reason for your cat's barfing. And moving right along, similar in some respects to fur balls, cats that consume items that aren't food. That's obviously a big problem for many reasons. If your cat walks around your home with that nose to the floor and is always eating things, random things, things that you're often unable to see and make it a point to discourage that behavior. When you see it, approach your cat and get them to focus on something else. 
and if you see a piece of plastic or rubber band, do what you have to do. Always remove it before your cat can get hold of it. Daily vacuuming can cure a lot of ails in this department. If your cat is just a bit too curious for comfort, the unfortunate consumption of non-food items can lead to vomiting. And sticking with curiosity, cats both indoors and outdoors, but especially outdoors, can unfortunately be exposed to a host of products not fit for consumption. Bug spray, motor oil, paint, weed killer. It's a toxic world, and if your pet is allowed to roam around each day or even roam in your garage, the odds of exposure do increase. And while some of this could indeed be due to curiosity, some of it involves walking an unfortunate path. If chemicals get on your cat's paws and your cat's fur and your pet later commences the grooming, yeah, those chemicals will naturally find their way on your cat's tongue and your cat's mouth. This could result in illness, vomiting, and in extreme cases, much worse. You can't control your cat's every move, but you can do your part in a major way to ensure that substances in and around your home, that they, uh, things that aren't fit for your pet, are indeed closed and sealed. Of course, these same actions, they should also be taken if you do indeed have young children. And the final possible cause that I'll talk about here today is stress and anxiety. Cats are very emotionally sensitive animals, and they're not too keen on change. Even the most subtle of things can impact their environment directly. If it does impact their environment directly, it can cause a lot of stress and anxiety and even fear. Quick story. Several years ago, my senior cat at the time, he was about 17 or 18. Uh, during that period of time, I introduced him to a few kittens. <laughs> the kittens that are now the adult cats in my home, they were no bigger at the time than my shoe. As the weeks and months went along, my senior cat, who had been my only pet at the time, well, he grew a bit withdrawn began sleeping and resting in some rather odd locations, and before too long he began to engage in some rather aggressive grooming practices, removing large chunks of fur, and not long after, vomiting became somewhat of a routine, unfortunately. Uh, this was a bit concerning for a time and very stressful for him. However, once he realized his place in the world and how nothing had really changed, not only did he stop with the aggressive grooming and the barfing, he became a great friend and a great guide for those kittens. And when he did pass away about four years ago, he did so right near the cats, and he taught the cats that he loved and helped to nurture. But I say all of that as an example. Uh, stress was real. At the time, it was very real for him, and the side effect was today's topic. If your pet is anxious and stressed, vomiting can be a symptom of your pet's displeasure. And on that note, in the most delicate way possible, that will close things out for this video. But before the credits roll, the ball is in your court. To the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, was this video helpful? Do you have personal ownership stories that contain one or more of the notable reasons that I mentioned here today? Or is your cat's issue, let's call it, from something else, something altogether different? Your stories, thoughts, commentary, anything and everything in between, that comment section as always, it's all yours. And if you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you later.